Hello, and welcome to the first half hour songwrite of 2019. I've got some interesting prompts today. I, I gotta say, I'm really happy that I'm running this pick a prompt contest. I'm having so much fun just reading all the creative prompts. I wish I could get to all of them because they're, they're so great. So the prompt I picked this time is from at Sunravel Me, who I've known on here on Steam It for a while. How's it going? And she posted a prompt that I found really challenging. You should write an anti-love song, one that absolutely refuses to talk about love of any kind. Can you write an anti-love song without talking about love? I mean, if you're against something, then you're all about it as far as what you're what you're talking about, right? For instance, like, What's Love Got to Do With It by Tina Turner. I would think of that as an anti-love song, right? Because it's kind of like against love. So I wondered if I could write an anti-love song without mentioning love or talking about love. And I'm not sure that I did it. There's some oblique references, maybe not so oblique references, to love and relationship in the song. Cause and effect can break your neck A chain of causation, the only connection Eight ball in the corner pocket you called it now you have to strike just right to sink it cause everything is in a quantum state until it isn't don't try to make it into something it isn't we bounce off of each other all of us it's only physics it's chemistry and who can say where it leads where any of it leads. So that was the song I've got at Lord of Shadows here with me. Yeah. What, do you, what, what do you want to say about it? So, um, you probably already answered this earlier, but what brought you to choosing that? Uh, I picked that one because it was tough. I was, I wondered if I could do it. It was like, uh, it was like a little bit of a, a puzzle to solve or something like that. <laughs> no, I put on, mine. Okay, I'll put on these ones. <laughs> there we go. Now I look like a bug-eyed alien okay, with glowing eyes. <laughs> you can dab, it's okay. Yeah. Um, anywho, um, what, how did you come up with the lyrics? Hmm, let's see. Because the first thing I thought of was like a song without love. Love is kind of part of everything. So then I thought about what would be a point of view that would not include love, and I thought like a robotic point of view or like a very Newtonian physics, like cause and effect, cut and dry kind of point of view. Don't <laughs> So that's why I thought of cause and effect. I don't know why I got cause and effect can break your neck. I guess just indicating that po cause and effect can be an explanation for anything. Kind of a mechanistic way of thinking about things, cause and effect. So what's your favorite uh, uh, sentence in the song? Oh, wow. Um... I'm going to have to take off these glasses. Hang on. <laughs> um, I think it's because everything is in a quantum state until it isn't. My, What's your favorite? Well, uh, let's see. The one that's a ball in the corner. Uh, it was a very thought-provoking prompt. Uh, what really good. What was your second choice on the prompt? Like your oh, my second goodness. Second choice. Car Carpe Diem? I'm not sure how you pronounce your name. Um, she, her prompt was Boom Chaka Boom chaka chaka boom. Was her her <laughs> mom? That was, that was hysterical. I like that one a lot. Bruni's mm. suggestion was diamond or diamonds. I am Jadeline. Wrote irony of life. Use all of these prompts in in, in some form. Whether I I uh, whether I you could do like a do challenge where not. where you pick five prompts and then you incorporate them all into, like into one, one song. song. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, or or all right. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. 
Yeah, but yeah. it's also going to be really challenging. Yeah. Just, if you imagine pick, trying if you to pick that one and then boom chaka. Imagine trying to dive. incorporate boom chaka <laughs> chaka chaka boom into the irony of life. And yeah. Wandering Rose had uh, seven had, yeah, living ghost. I thought that was a really good one, right? Right in my wheelhouse. Oh yeah. Give me that prompt. Oh yeah, that's optical illusion I'm would be a great a prompt. prompt. <laughs> the somebody named the U Review. I, I've never met this person on Steam it so far, but she offered a couple of really cool prompts as well. And one was about hmm. Plato's theory of split apart twin souls. And if a partner, perfect partner is out there, yeah, I'm not going to go any further. There were probably there were. I know there are more prompts than that offered tonight. I was thinking you could make a song where it kind of like contradicts <coughs> it, dicks itself. For instance, um, a, a paradox, a song. Yeah, kind of paradox. like where one of them, like the one with oh. the eight ball, like the one with the um, the one that you picked for today. Yeah, you could do that one with one that was like completely a song, like that was completely about love. Completely, and like have mm. them like fight like rap battle. Oh, ah, gotcha. Or, like something like like a like, tag team, like a uh, yeah, like tag team, like, like a, how life is awesome. A and tennis then, match like, of a song. I've got one more question. Okay. Um, so, I have a challenge for you. Another challenge? One more challenge. So, I'm, next person, this is my I'm thing. like drowning in challenges right so now. So, I would, so this is one more challenge. I have to add to my Sorry. list to get to at some um, point. Um, I would do, like, something where they suggest a prompt, and you okay. write five of them, and then you have people vote at whichever one you, they like the best. You'll, you'll, um... You mean they suggest a prompt, I write five different songs for the one prompt... No, for yeah, for the one prompt, and, re- and then you post them all, and whichever one gets the most likes, um, mm, wins the contest. Yeah. Whoa, that's that would be really cool. Out, Lord of Shadow, out. He's out. Thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed that interview as well, and and I hope you guys keep submitting your awesome prompts. It's so much fun just to read them. Keep on steaming, and we'll see you next time on Half Hour Song, right? Challenge. That guy's, like, cute and creepy. Ah. (sighs) Double threat.